リビエラのフラッグシップであるハンセンシナーラは2015年のプロジェクト立ち上げから足掛け6年の歳月を経て完全レストアを行いましたこの修復プロジェクトは100年前の建造当時の素材をできるだけ残しレストア技術のない日本に世界10カ国50人の職人を招聘しヨーロッパのハンセン技術の伝承を目的としましたそして外反のチーク素材をおよそ 92% を残しおよそ100年前にできたシナーラにさらに100年の命を吹き込むものです SDGs にコミットした持続社会を目指すリビエラ未来づくりプロジェクトの理念に基づき歴史あるこのシナーラを大切に磨き上げて次世代に残しますその VTR をご覧ください First of all, I would like to express many of thanks to Paul さん and Chuck さん for long commitment for Shinara project. Today, I would like to ask several questions about Shinara. So please let me know your stories, thoughts, and prides regarding Shinara. So Chuck san、uh, where are you now? I'm currently in Palma, Mallorca, in Spain.、Uh, Paul san, where are you now?、Uh, I'm in Sibonia Marina,、uh, the more at Sinaro's mooring. So we are getting close to the end of restoration. How do you feel when you see Sinaro now? Chuck san? Well, two sides to that story.、Uh, very proud of. What we have all managed to do as a team. You know, we have got, as you mentioned earlier, over 15 different nationalities working together. People who do this at home in Spain, we do this, in Italy, we do that. We've all got together with one aim, and that was to see Sinara sailing as she was 100 years ago. And I think we've achieved that. So there's a lot of pride in having got the team together and achieved what we set out to do. The other side of the coin is sadness. You know, I'm now back in Spain, unlike Paul. So I'm back in Spain. I'm 13,000 miles away. I will probably never see Shinara again. So it's a chapter of my life. And it has been my life for the last three years. Now, other than Shinara and the crew in Sibonia, I have had no other real contact. It's been my life. And it's a part of my life, it's a chapter. That is now the page is being turned, and I'll move on to something else. And that is a bit of a sadness. <coughs> Paul. Well, let, let's hope you do see her again. You, know, you never know what might happen. You, know, she, you never know. She might turn up in、uh, the Mediterranean one day. I look forward to it. <laughs>、um, I think, you know, because. As I said before, the first time I saw her, she was right here, exactly where she is now. And so I, it's very easy for me to. I have that memory of the first time I saw her when she was looking a bit drab, a bit tired, a bit out of shape.、Um, she was sitting low in the water and she looked like she needed saving. And, and to now see it here on, in the same place. Looking, you know, she looks wonderful, looks, she looks great, and、um, so that is a good feeling、uh, to see it now and, and have that memory of how she was. And、uh, we, we've done it, you know, we've got there, and、um, she does look good. And you know, what, what we see now is Chuck's rig, which is fantastic, you know, Chuck's attention to detail.、Um, She would be less than half the boat she is without that rig because that's what, that's what everyone looks at, and that's what drives her. And so, you know, I didn't see the rig when I first saw her, but now I can see everything. Yeah,、uh, it, it looks great. And、um, so, yeah, as Chuck says, very proud and、um, very, very happy. And the best time I get, and maybe. Chuck's probably, I don't know, you may have seen it,、um, but the best time for me is when the sun is low 
sunrise or sundown when we get the long shadows and we can see those curves that's a really pleasing moment for me and um, unfortunately I don't get to see her when she's sailing but the photographs look amazing and um, yeah I'm very 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 happy and proud to have been part of this uh, I'm really happy that we had all the guys everyone that's been involved you know um, really good good people Thank you. So next is the last question. What do you think about the world reputation for the restored Shinara? Uh, anybody we know, Paul and I have been involved in working on boats, not necessarily always restoring them, repairing them, doing whatever. In the classic world, which we introduced Mr. Watanabe to in Cannes a few years ago, she will definitely have a very good reception. Uh, one thing I've, uh, worldwide, nobody is ever going to say, what is that? They are going to just love that boat. Now, the classic scene is, as we saw in Cannes and Saint-Tropez, is a very condensed version. Wherever Sinara goes, she will probably be the only boat 100 years old. So everybody is going to stand back in amazement. Obviously, not everybody is going to get on board to sail her, but people who know what it takes and people who get a close look at the boat will really, they are the ones who will appreciate the work that has gone into this restoration. But on the whole, she'll be accepted by everybody. You know, she will be the, the belle of the ball. She'll be the, the princess. No questions whatsoever. Mm. Mm. Yeah, well, Chuck, Chuck's probably better qualified to answer that than I am because Chuck's um, not just a rigger, but a, a captain and a sailor, and he knows this, uh, I want to say industry, but industry is not the right word, um, yeah. <laughs> this, uh, this class of yacht, you know, this type of yacht, he knows these boats better than anyone I know. Uh, so he would have he will know how this you know will be received and but you know for sure um it's um you know the so far the response has been good um the, there's been very positive feedback and we haven't been anywhere yet um so that's promising uh i think yeah, i agree with chuck that she's going to be very well received and um you know it's um, an emblem um it's something um that's going to reflect on um riviera and um you know if um you know if the boat's um well handled and maintained and um everyone's gonna think wow these guys these guys you know they know what they're doing and uh I think it's going to be very positive um, for Riviera. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be received very well. Uh, so, you know, I'd, I'd like to see her get out off the mooring and get out around Japan and hopefully over to the States and um, Europe and um, I think give the, the world a chance to really have a look at her and... Um, <clears throat> As Chuck knows, I mean, there's many famous boats around the world, um, and I think she's going to be one of them. Or well, she definitely has the potential to be one of those uh, notorious boats that everyone talks about. Um, so let's hope there's some race wins coming up, and uh, <laughs> um, yeah, get her, get her out, get her out there. Yeah. So the the bottom line, it's not necessarily winning races that uh, is going to give her the name. It's the mm. fact that she is there. Like people will there, see her yeah. flying. Mm. People will see her sailing. I yeah. think the other thing that will strike a big surprise with everybody is when Sinara sails into Can Harbour with a Japanese flag on her, that will really shock people. Mm. That will make people think, Oh, it's not English people. No, this is a project that was restored in Japan 
by primarily a Japanese crew with our help. And I think flying the Japanese flag around the world is going to make us stand out even more so than somebody like mm. Zendara or Altair, because 99% of the classic boats built in England still fly the Red Ensign, the British maritime flag. Very few of them have been restored so lovingly outside of Europe. And I think sailing into harbour with a Japanese flag on the back is going to definitely make people turn their heads. Mm, yeah, I agree. <clears throat> thank you. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, I trust, uh, once again, I really appreciate your devoted efforts and uh, excellent results. I hope to keep in touch with you uh, towards the future mm. of Shinara. Uh, thank you today. Uh, thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. No, you're welcome. Thank you Thank you very much. Much. いかがでしたかこのシナーラは本場イギリスのクラシックボート主催クラシックボーターワード2021に現在ノミネートされていますこれはクラシックボートに関わるすべての人の情熱と献身を称えて贈られる賞だそうです